The objective now is to add a widget to this dashboard that will display the content of a reference set. So I have a reference set that was actually populated by a rule. If I go here on the, the reference set management and look on the reference set for emergency, yeah, we see that we have Julie Berg, it's the only entrance in there, right? Now, how are we are going to be accomplishing, accomplishing that? So there is before we actually even go to polls, we're going to do it via the API, right? So I'm here on the API. I do not know what they say deprecated, but uh, nevertheless, uh, I'm going to use it. So I'm here on the reference data management uh, the, on set for reference set and on the, under the name. So just to show you, well, you know that I, I've done this before, so in another video. So if I put the name here, which is a required parameter of the reference set that we want the data from, and we try that out, it worked, we get a 200, which is uh, good, but we get all this data and we only want the name, the value, Julie Berg. We don't want the whole thing. So we need to first go here and notice that it says use these parameters to specify what fields you want. And notice that in the sample here that is called data. So if I put here data and between parentheses I'm going to put value. See if that works. And I exercise the API again what I get is value Julie Bird. That's precisely what I want, right? Now, we are going to do this within Pulse. How we're going to be accomplishing that? You, by now, you probably know that in the video description of all my videos, there is a link to a public box folder. Let me go anywhere. How to find the Actually, that's a video about finding my videos, kind of recursive thing. <laughs> uh, and I go there, and there is a folder here for dashboards. And in it, there are several dashboards. I believe that these are the one from Shane and Mutas. Not that one, but I think it is this one, making API call from Pulse dashboards. And this is the JSON that you need to import. And I've done videos on show you how you import that uh, within Pulse. So let's go there. And the way you, you go about it is that uh, you go here and then you do create dashboard and then you import and bring that JSON and that will bring it there. I already did that. So what I want to do is I'm going to copy and in fact let me show you that uh, it's on the R for REST API that is this dashboard. I, I've actually been playing with it already but let me do it on this one. So you go there and what you need to do is, you see that part in here? Well, you, you need to put a title, reference set content. Um, you need to grab this part that we know that it works and we go to this dashboard and replace this part in here and if we run such a query we get that result that's what we want right now let's actually what we're going to be doing let me copy this we're going to copy where well, i'll need to show let me work on how i'm going to be showing this hold on so I 
fix that. I'm going to put it as a simple table. And when I run it, I got the value that we that we want. Now we're going to copy this widget and we're going to put it in the other dashboard that we were working. So we are here in the Pulse dashboard that we want to add one more widget. Let's actually click here on the gear. And here we have all the widgets and we call it a reference. Uh, reference set content. This is the one, right? So we're going to select that one. And we're going to duplicate it in here. We don't need to put this copy thing. That is the same information that we had before. We run the query. It works. And we save it and after weekly save we have that data in here again this is this is not meant to be like a useful dashboard and it's, uh, my it's been years since I don't work with mainframe data so uh, but this is showing the mechanics the capabilities that the tool has so now if we were to have more users using the and probably we want to eliminate the value part in there but if we were to have more users that use those emergency credentials we want uh, to show them in here so this shows the power of making api calls within polls to display the content of a reference set